Okay, so hello sa lahat. So for today's video, um, lesson number 8 tayo. So i-discuss natin today sa video na to ang definition of rational algebraic expression. So makinig po mabuti para mas ma lubos ninyong maunawaan kung ano ba itong rational algebraic expression. So at the end of this video lesson, you will be able to define rational algebraic expression and at the same time, ma-identify, ma-define din natin yung domain ng rational algebraic expression. So dito sa topic na to, gagamitin natin yung stock knowledge ninyo about fraction. Kung marerecall ninyo class, yung fraction ay may iba't ibang klase. Basis sa, um, basis sa description ng kanyang numerator at denominator. Sa so, nakikita ninyong example na 2 over 5 or 2 fifth, wherein the numerator is number 2 and the denominator is number 5, this kind of fraction is known as proper fractions. Bakit proper fraction? Since ang numerator natin is smaller or less than the denominator. So we call this fraction as proper fraction. So, ano nga ba itong rational algebraic expression na binabanggit ko? Pag sinabing rational algebraic expression, it is a quotient of two polynomials in which the denominator is not zero. Take note, sabi niya, quotient daw siya ng dalawang polynomials na kung saan ang denominator ay hindi zero. So, ano ibig niyang sabihin? Magbigay tayo ng mga halimbawa ng rational algebraic expressions. So, meron tayong 13 over x, meaning 13 and x are both polynomials and they are in the form of a quotient. So, quotient siya ng 13 and x and these two polynomials are examples of monomials since they are single terms. What else? So we have negative a squared over b squared. These two expressions are both monomials. We also have 3 minus v over 2. So since ang ating denominator ay 2, 2 is a monomial, a constant monomial x squared plus 2xy plus y squared over x minus y. So, ang ating numerator here, yung nasa taas ng horizontal bar, ay trinomial. On the other hand, ang ating denominator ay two terms na kung tawagin ay binomial. So, ito yung ilan sa mga halimbawa ng rational algebraic expressions. Sa madaling sabi, ang RAE ay isang fraction that contains at least one variable. So pag sinabing at least, ito ay more than one. Kung mapapansin ninyo, dito sa example na to, ang variables na ginamit ay A at B. Sa variable na to, sa example na to, ang ginamit ay X. Dito naman, ang ginamit ay V. Sa pang-apat na halimbawa, ang ginamit ng mga variables ay x at y. So, tignan natin kung lubos ninyo naintindihan ang pag-define or pag-classify ng mga polynomials or expressions na siya ay rational. So, let us determine whether each expression is rational or not. So, let's say RAE if it is, or pag hindi naman, just say not RAE. First example, 3 over 7x. So, let us see, is it 3 and 7x seven, seven are both um, polynomials? Are they expressed in the form of quotient? Are they both monomials? Yes, they are. So, siya ay RAE or rational algebraic expressions. Second example, x plus 9 over 5. 
So the numerator, x plus 9, is an example of binomial. On the other hand, the denominator 5 is an example of a monomial. And these two, two polynomials are expressed in a form of fraction. Therefore, this expression is RAE. Alright. Next, number 3, 1 over y squared minus 4 is an example of RAE2. Ayan. So, since ang ating denominator is an example of a binomial and our numerator is a monomial. So, let us keep in mind, class, that a rational algebraic expression is a quotient of two polynomials in which the denominator is not zero. Polynomial has positive integer exponents. Tandaan po ninyo, kapag ang polynomials natin ay may positive integer exponents, it is considered pa rin na RAE or Rational Algebraic Expression. Hindi siya considered na rational kung ang polynomial natin ay mayroong fraction exponents. Tandaan, ang fraction exponents ay tulad ng mga sumusunod. So, square root of x, so, ang square root of x, kapag sinulat ay, ang index root niya ay 2, at ang exponent ng x ay 1, kapag kinuha natin ang kanyang fractional exponents, it will become x raised to 1 half. Same with cube root of b to the fifth. So, pag kinuha natin yung fraction exponents niya, magiging b raised to 5 over 3. Sa pang halimbawa, 4th root of a to the 7th. So, ang index root niya ay 4. So, kapag ginamitan natin or kinuha natin yung fraction exponents niya, it will become a raised to 7 over 4th power. So, tandaan, kapag yan ang nakita ninyo, these expressions are not rational. So, in number 4, 8 over square root of m. So, babalikan natin yung pinresent natin kanina at ipinaliwanag. So, since ang denominator niya ay square root of m, meaning, hindi siya example ng rational algebraic expression. x raised to 3 fifth power over 10. So, ganun din po ito kapag meron kayong nakitang fractions na exponents, automatic, not rational algebraic expression. Cube root of k over 9 plus k, automatic ulit since cube root of k yan, kapag ginawa natin ang fraction exponents yan, it will, be, it will become k, or, uh, k raised to 1 third. So, magiging Hindi siya example ng rational algebraic expression. Same with this. So, square root of 5x, hindi rin siya example ng rational algebraic expression. So, I hope na intindihan ninyo at klaro sa inyo kung paano mag-identify ng mga expressions kung siya ba ay rational o hindi. So, gaya na labanggit kanina, Ang rational algebra expressions ay hindi po pwedeng magkaroon ng zero as the denominator. So, dyan papasok yung tinatawag nating domain of rational algebraic expression. Ano nga ba itong domain? The domain is the set of all values of the variable that are allowed. Meaning, ito yung mga set ng values na pwede nating i Substitute sa mga variables natin na permissible or allowed. Dahil ang pagde-divide by zero ay hindi pinapayagan for rational algebraic expression. Kasi we should be able, ay then, we should be able to identify which values will make the denominator equal to zero. Kasi kapag nag-divide tayo by zero, it will become meaningless or undefined. So, yung mga restricted values na makukuha ninyo sa rational algebraic expressions ay magiging undefined or meaningless. Tandaan, bawal maging zero ang denominator. 
So, paano ba natin hahanapin ang domain ng isang rational expression? Una, kailangan nating iset yung denominator natin as zero. Pangalawa, find the solution set of the resulting equation. Pangatlo, the domain is the set of all real numbers excluding the values found in step number two. Ibig sabihin, kung ano may magkukuha nating value for a certain variable, hindi po natin siya isasali sa ating domain. Bigay tayo ng halimbawa. State the restricted value and the domain for each rational expression. Simulan natin sa number 1. 11 over x. So, since ang ating denominator are var ay isang variable x, ano kaya yung magiging restricted value ng x na kung saan hindi natin siya isasama? And that will be our domain. So, base doon sa steps na binigay natin kanina, step 1, we set the denominator as 0. So, ang denominator natin is variable x, meaning ang x natin ay equal sa 0. So, ang domain natin will be all real numbers except 0. So, lahat ng numbers ay kasali or pwede permissible at allowed maliban lang kay 0. Kasi kapag nilagyan na or sinama natin si 0, magiging 11 over 0 na, or 11 divided by 0. E binanggit natin kanina na ang pagde-divide by 0 ay hindi po pwede. Ito ay magiging undefined or meaningless. Hindi na siya rational. Second example, 9 over n to the 5th power, so, dito, ano kaya yung magiging restricted value natin for variable n? So, iset natin yung ating denominator na n to the fifth bilang zero. So, kapag uh, sinimplify natin, kasi step number two, isisimplify natin. So, ano ba yung fifth root ng n to the fifth? Kung ano yung ginawa mo sa left side ng equal sign, ganun din dapat sa right side. So, ang fifth root ng zero ay zero. So, sa madaling sabi, zero to the fifth ay zero. So, ang restricted value natin ay zero. So, ang domain natin is all real numbers except zero. So, lahat ng numbers pwede maliban kay zero. So, tandaan, ang pagde-divide by zero ay hindi po pwede. It will become undefined or meaningless. Pangatlong halimbawa, 4 minus y over 5x. So, ang denominator natin ay 5x. Ano kaya yung magiging value ng x? So, step number 1, let us put the denominator as 0. So, 5x equals 0. So, divided by 5 left and right. So, ibig sabihin, ang hinahanap nating value ng x ay 0. So, siya yung restricted value. At ang domain natin is all real numbers except 0. E-check natin. So, pag minultiply natin ang 0 sa 5, di ba 0 ang sagot? So, ano ba sabi natin kanina? Bawal maging denominator ay 0. So, we have 5. So, we the restricted value for a variable x is 5. So, ang domain natin, all real numbers except 5. Okay, number 5. a minus 3 over 3 minus a. 
So, ang A natin is 3. The restricted value is 3. The domain is all real numbers except 3. So, kapag chinek naman natin, magiging 0 talaga yung denominator. Paano naman pag ganito ang na-encounter nyo? Ang denominator natin ay 2x minus 5. So, again, iseset natin yung denominator as 0. So, since meron tayong minus 5 sa left side ng equal sign, isisimplify natin. So, we will be applying addition property of equality. So, mag-add 5 tayo left and right. So, it will have 2x equals 5. And then, division property divided by 2 left and right. So, ang, ang value ng x natin is 5 over 2. The restricted value then is 5 over 2. The domain will be all real numbers except 5 over 2. Okay, number 7. How about the denominator of x squared minus 25? So, pag ganyan ang encounter nyo, class, gagamitan natin ang square root. So, ano ba yung square root ng 25? Hindi lang siya positive, kundi pwede rin ang negative. Kasi kapag in-square natin ang negative, positive pa rin ang sagot. So, ang restricted value natin ay positive 5 at negative 5. So, ang domain natin, all real numbers except positive and negative 5. E paano naman kapag ganito ang makukuha, ang ipinakita sa inyo? x cubed minus y cubed over 7. So, ang denominator natin ay 7. So, wala siyang variable. There is no variable in the denominator. So, wala siyang restriction sa domain. Sa madaling sabi, ang restricted value natin ay wala or none, kaya pwede lahat. So, all real numbers ang magiging domain natin. Tandaan, kapag walang variable sa denominator, ang domain natin ay all real numbers. Paano naman pag ganito? 6 over x squared plus 36. Ano kaya yung magiging restricted value? There is no real number which when multiplied to itself gives negative 36. Hence, there is no real number which will make the denominator equal to 0. So kung wala kang mahanap na real number that makes the denominator to 0, Ibig sabihin, wala ding restricted value. So, ang domain natin ay all real numbers. Tandaan, ang 7 over 0 or 7 divided by 0 ay hindi parehas sa 0 over 7 o 0 divided by 7. Ang nauna ay undefined. Kaya bawal maging 0 ang denominator. At yung pangalawa ay 0. I hope naintindihan po ninyo. Salamat!